Hello, I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman, and today is June 8th, 2020. We're here at First Baptist Church and Play Center, and this week for our ministry minutes, we're going to consider our reaction, our response to the Word of God. Because we as human beings, I'm sure you're aware, we have a variety of emotions and available responses to things. Sometimes we respond in shock or in awe. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we have other responses. And today we begin with a passage from Nehemiah. Now, Nehemiah was a prophet in the Old Testament, and so the book of Nehemiah is found in the Old Testament. And let me share with you just one verse from Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 9. It says, And Nehemiah, who was the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites, who taught the people, said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. To weep. Now, we've all seen something that's brought a tear to our eye. Maybe it was a baby or, or some scene in a movie, television, or a play. But when we hear the word wept, that implies a far deeper emotional response. Now, as we think about this, I want us, of course, to be cautious because our emotions are things that can control us. We need to be careful not to be controlled by them. Uh, because they can push us to do things or to say things or put us in places that we really don't want to be and don't need to be. But the point of that passage is that as these people heard the word of the Lord, and we remember and we realize it had been some time since that had happened, but there was a response, a deep response. And the response was so deep because it was a personal response response. Now we know that as a, Americans, uh, many of us, we feel pride uh, when we hear the national anthem, when we see the flag, when we see images like the Statue of Liberty. And it is very easy for us when we hear somebody sing songs like the, the national anthem or the um, God Bless America. And it is very easy for us to become overwhelmed and to weep. And so it's just a challenge for us to wonder and to ask ourselves, when was the last time when we read the Word of God and it moved us to a place of weeping? Now I realize some of us are people that are not extremely emotional. Some of us are people that, that don't wear our feelings on our sleeves and we keep our emotions hidden. But the question is really, when was the last time we responded in a meaningful, personal way to the Word of God? When was the last time we stopped and said, that Word is for me. I want to apply that in my life. Because that is the whole point of reading the Word of God. That's why God gave us the Word of God, so we would respond to it. So today, on this, in response to this ministry minute, I want to challenge you to find a passage of Scripture and to contemplate it, to think about it, and allow it to move you personally, to move you into action, to move you to pray, to move you to worship, to move you to extend a hand of love or compassion or mercy or forgiveness to somebody else. Because after all, if the Word of God isn't changing us, then we're not allowing it to do so. Because that is what God intends for us this day. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you again soon at First Baptist Church. Read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible every day. Read about God's holy word. Read the Bible, read the Bible, a book to show the way, the manual of instruction for living life each day. When you need to make decisions and don't know just what to do, read the Bible every day. It is a revelation for everything we do. 
Go to the instructions and read the book how to. Read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible every day. Read about God's holy word. Read the Bible, read the Bible, a book to show the way. The manual of instruction for living life each day. When you are faced with trouble and don't know which way to turn, read the Bible every day. Study the commandments, which in stone would burn. Go to the instructions and read and read and learn. Read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible every day. Read about God's holy word. To show the way, the manual of instruction for living life each day.